Hi guys, so I think this is going to be the final part of the tutorials for the birthday celebration loaded pocket swap. Um, again, we're doing a gatefold this time. Of course, you can choose one of the other pockets. I really encourage you to try the gatefold though because that's what makes this one extra special. But if you like the long flap or if you like no flap, you know, uh, go for it. Like I said, if you're doing no flap, really do a really great job of what's inside because I know this takes more time for people to do the kinds of flaps and things like that so you really want to go all out in those guys and of course on all the designs you want to go all out um, if I have any links in the description box those would be affiliate links to me I'll make a small commission for your purchase items so those links for like you know small things I might be using I don't know what right now basically uh, what we have left to do is our tag and then I need one other um, decoration dangle kind of thing um, I'm gonna do a beta dangle I probably won't do it in this video and I'll probably do it separately later so that might come later at a later time it's not something you know you guys if you make beta dangles I have other videos there's plenty of videos out there on them so you can make whatever it is that you want to do but in this video um, like I said we're gonna concentrate on the tag and some of the decorating you know some of the extra things I want to do um, for this little guy so I usually put something on the back or at least I have been the last time around I, th I don't know if I did it the first time but um, so I designed like a little something to go on the back here so we'll do that um, I definitely want to add more on the front and I don't know what that is yet and I don't even know if I'm gonna do that in this video or not um, we did our shaker mix I have my gift which is the stickers I have these cute little um, candies that I showed you guys last time those are in there already my five die cuts and I did five die cuts so um, again really stick to the rules you guys uh, it was kind of <laughs> disappointing that so many people broke the rules last time for the um, insert swap and I thought I made it very basic and very clear and things just happened and people packaged them in ways that I was asking not to be packaged all those kinds of things but, you know things happen but for this one it's more open-ended right whatever fits in here without being bulging and ridiculous right because it's already one and a quarter inches just with the po with the pockets and if you know you decorate here maybe you're going to add a little bit more and it needs to fit in a flat rate envelope regardless of if you're sending one or two swaps and i'll show you a flat rate envelope um, before we're done today because I also want to show you how I would package it again not anything too crazy I know the first swap we did I was like yeah I make it real cute but as long as it fits in the envelope right I think we're gonna have to get away from that because it really is everything should be focused in here everything has to fit in the pocket you're not putting anything extra on the outside of you know the sleeve that we pop this in um, don't make it too bulky on top because that also can get crushed right so we'll talk about that once we get to the end of the video I'm just uh, putting things out there that I know happen and um, again you know mine's obviously you know it's a little chunky a little chubby right here in the center because a lot of the things end up in the center everything has to go inside okay nothing sticking out of the top nothing you know extra like I said an extra pair of socks or an extra you know pair of gloves or like a candy bar or something on the outside no 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 everything has to fit inside so whatever you're including for your gift for your die cuts for your handmade card you know all the different things that I asked for need to fit inside and it needs to really be me, the birthday celebration I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot or possibly several that are just like flowers and then maybe some die cuts that have to do with like birthday please don't do that if you have to buy a paper pack you know go get a paper pack and I, I don't like saying oh you have to go buy something but like if you signed up and you have the things great you know I had lots of celebration kind of papers here at home um, actually I picked up this one more recently but either way you're gonna pick things up you know I bought this little gift stuff I mean I did pick up things to make my shaker because otherwise it would just be like the things I normally have which are like flower shapes and things like that no we want it birthday like really celebration you guys I really want to press that because honestly if I get them and it looks like Mother's Day or if it looks like you know um, spring where it just misses the mark but you included die cuts that have to do with birthday I'm gonna send it back without swapping I think I'm gonna be really particular going forward because this last swap there were a ton <laughs> that I had to go through and I do not like being put in the position of like well let me judge this is this this or is this that? oh she had four die cuts but the fifth one isn't what we were asking for like that's really not anything I want to spend my time on and I know people get upset and they might get a little bit hurt and I don't want to be the person that's doing that and telling you guys you know I, it really puts me in a awkward position I don't like it and then I feel bad so I swap you anyway and that really encourages people to not care because they can just send in whatever and I'm gonna send it back right like I'm gonna swap it out and we can't have that guys really follow the rules please make it birthday celebration I mean 
I don't know what more to say about that, but I am going to judge them as far as the theme because this has happened before in like, um, you know, the Traveler's Notebook. So the theme was this and someone sends in like a floral thing and it's like, what are we doing? <laughs> like it needs to be following the theme. So uh, contents, the way you package it, all those things are going to be taken into account. If it's too big, I'm not going to swap it out. I'm not going to have people send me more money to put it in a bigger box. Like this is not, you guys, I think I make it pretty clear. And um, please don't make me look at your shaker and be like, well, there's three different things in there. Like really go all out you know what I'm saying um, like I said I don't want to see you know a pink and purple and yellow sequins and that's your mix it should be different things um, I'm not just saying different colors of sequins I'm saying like different things right and you guys saw when I made this there's tons of stuff in here um, my you know whatever fits you know for my gift I have this guy I also have this little thing because it fits right like most of the stuff in here like if I didn't have my gift stuff is pretty flat I mean a lot of times people put this in a bottle which is really cute I love that I just didn't have um, I couldn't find them actually and I was like I'm not gonna go buy more because I know I have little glass vials so sometimes people do that or a test tube wonderful you know you have plenty of room for that to fit I mean this is literally everything other than my die cut tag and I mean it fits pretty well right so um, oh and my tassels are over here I haven't packaged those yet but I do have the tassels for this um, and I'm going with tassels you can make bows or you can make rosettes or a mixture of all three you know one of each or whatever it is that you want to do but three okay and the other reason I'm sticking to those things and I'm not saying three or more I'm saying three because when I do the reveals I'm going through and talking about them and if you include ten I'm going to talk about each and every single one of them and I think that puts me in a position of spending more time on that one particular swap and I asked for three right so three rosettes bows or uh, charms um, well uh, tassels or one of each that's fine but don't send me three three and three or don't send way more or even an extra one it has to be three of those kinds of things one handmade card with at least three embellishments five die cuts five die cuts I did say you know sometimes people include extra because if it fits that's fine just don't go too crazy because honestly again it just takes more time for me to go through them and the reason I'm asking for certain things is for that reason it's like a time constraint um, otherwise we're sitting for hours and hours and hours and that's e editing everything that goes into that you guys so please have mercy on me there you go <laughs> that's the thing um, and then of course we decorated all the panels and things and I said we need to include one other extra thing like a dangle or a rosette or a pick or you know alter paper clips of course people put plenty of them the whole thing of loaded pockets that we're loading it right so this is obviously very thing even if this if I hung it there or if I put them in a little pack you still have plenty of room for your gift so you know have fun with it be generous you know think about what that is to present how it is to package it and all that kind of stuff like even these little guys I said maybe I'll string them here which would be really cute I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to make that happen so I think I might just package them this way on a strip and then stick it back there so we'll talk about that obviously today I'm gonna finish it up as far as pulling it all together my tag um, you know if you want to make a shaker tag you have room for it great I don't really have room for a shaker especially with the other things that I'm considering putting in here so uh, my tag is gonna be relatively flat but it's gonna have layers and other embellishment items you know if this needs to sit on top like we can fold this over one time that's fine because we have room up there right that's what's really fun about this gate fold is that we can pop things in here like I see there's still room there obviously I'm gonna put my tassels in there but there's room you know uh, wherever it is let's not go too too crazy just I think what I'm trying to say is like spend your time really making really nice die cuts instead of sending 40 of them you know the five that I asked for that are layered or die cut with really nice papers they don't have to be layered obviously they can be one layer I, I don't have rules on those the only things I have rules about is three or more <laughs> types of spangles in your glitter mix um, the three or more embellishment items on your handmade card, three or more embellishment items on your tag, uh, things like that. And then, of course, your five die cuts can be a you know, single layer. They can be layered up. I have, you know, a little gift bag that's a single layer, and then other things are layered up. Um, I don't think it's confusing or hard or and difficult. I think what people want to do is they think more is better, like, wow, you know, but more is sometimes just more. I'd rather you concentrate and really turn in some really nice things instead of a ton of just random disparate things, right? Um, so... Uh, you know, I have these little guys and I was like, oh, these are so cute. So this is going to be something simple I'm going to alter and that could be, you know, just simple as your extra item, right? For decoration, I'm still going to do a dangle, but like, honestly, this guy on like a larger paper clip, I'm just going to pop it on there and he's going to go in here somewhere and it's going to look super cute because it goes with my, you know, like what I have going on and I think it'll be lovely and that's a cute little thing. Um, we're going to do some other things today so uh, first up is our tag so let's talk about the tag I think while I do that I'm also going to show you a bit of the extra decoration that I'll be doing on the back the flat decoration on the back is not what I count as a dangle rosette you know those kinds of things shaker if you're shakering it in here or somewhere or um, or a, you know 
an ultra paper clip that's a whole different thing but just decorating this is not what I mean by an extra thing um, I'm just finishing it up <laughs> really on that uh, front so hopefully it's not confusing please just stick to the rules guys like I said if you're sending in two or four I don't care you don't have to tell me if you're sending in two or four but you need to make sure that these fit because if it's in here it shouldn't be a problem um, they fit in the uh, flat rate padded envelope and again that has to do with your packaging right keep it relatively simple we'll talk about that at the end of the video um, yeah so I mean hopefully that gives you a bit of a pep talk a bit of a relief because I feel like sometimes people are like oh I gotta do all this you don't you really don't it's just a nice swap straightforward that's what I enjoy seeing and maybe you've noticed in some of the videos that if I know somebody kind of broke the rules I don't even spend time really talking about it because I don't want to hype people up and think have people think oh this is what I should do next time it's like no that's not what you should do next time that's not even what the person should have done this time you know so I, I'll just ignore it like I'll just move on talking about the other things I'm not gonna um, try to present this stuff that was not uh, appropriate you know or uh, within the guidelines so all right guys let's get to it I'm having a lot of fun with this I think this looks so cute I'm sure whatever you guys are putting together looks adorable and um, yeah so let's just hop right hey to guys. it so I was gonna cut a tag from dies but here we are I just designed something on Cricut and I don't really want these to be like just Cricut tutorials but maybe you have a machine that does something similar and you can work that out so like I said this is the home page and I always just leave it on explore just because um, if you go joy sometimes there's some shapes that it just won't include in what is in your library or what is able to be cut so I always say a, a larger machine like Cricut Explore family that way um, any die cut or anything it can cut you can put it on your mat and then you can resize it so it fits on the joy right but anyway, um, I do have some projects open, and I'll click like, on my projects, and this is what I worked on. So I'll just show it to you really quick. When you click on that, you can say customize. If you click on make it, it'll just go to make it, and that's even if you, you know, use one of my uh, files that I've included, like for the loaded pocket itself. Uh, what's cool about that, too, it does also tell you what is included, like what shapes or um, designs and where they came from. For the loaded pockets, I use basic shapes. That way everyone can do it. So this is just something I designed. This is going to go in the back of my, um, my uh, what's it called, <laughs> um, loaded pocket just to be cute. So I wrote the words birthday celebration swap and a balloon and that is super easy. I just went to images and looked for a balloon. And again, I don't, you know, obviously not everybody has a machine. And so this is just, you can do this with dies or whatever you want, or if you want to decorate the back of it. Um, and I just look for like a generic balloon shape and actually use this one. So I just add it to canvas. Actually, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's just get out of here. So I'm just going to show you something and then I'll start a new one. Um, this is a tag that I created. It has some writing on it that I created those little stars. It has a cutout balloon that I stylized. It has the double layer. So that's the tag that was there. It had a little chicky on it, but I like the shape of this with the double layer. So I replaced all these things, so I'll show you right now how to do that. I did include an extra piece for like acetate if you want to make it a shaker, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then I have It's Your Day is what, oh no, Ugh. okay, let's undo that because I don't want that resized. Okay, um, so we have our It's Your Day, and that's going to be my sentiment, and I want it doubled up because I want it a little, bit, a little bit thicker so it stands up on this piece a little bit higher. That's all. So what I'm going to do is open a new project well no not like that hello just new sorry new over here uh just replace it for now i'm not trying to do anything and so let's talk about it balloon so images balloon and ownership purchased over here because that's what i want to see the things i have i mean how cute are these but the style doesn't really go with the rest of what i was doing i thought like this set too i thought that would be cute but I went ahead and went with this regular one and I added to canvas and all I did was size it to think about how would this look on the back of the thing so you know just whatever size you want and then I tilted it because I didn't want it to just be up and down like this and I wanted to make sure what that's going to look like so I just kind of played with the rotation here and tilted it until I was happy something like that and then I wanted to write some words so when you go to text I'm going to say writing you don't really have to do that right now it's just to make the cricket sounds the regular 
um, font into a writing font but I am also going to look for one of my fonts and again you can turn off kerned that helps you really see all of your things that you own um, and then I only like to want to see the ones that I own and writing and purchased <laughs> so um, when I go through here there's all kinds of different things you know just pick one I don't know like let's say that one and I'm gonna write you know birthday celebrations or celebration I can't remember if I have an S or not but either way swapped and obviously that's very big and what you can do is just make it smaller by manipulating that but I do want to move it up here so let's say that's what you liked and that looks good for what you're doing or whatever let me try to get back up here okay and if I like that and I like the sizing okay cool I'm just gonna duplicate it over here right there to make another one that I'm then don't have to mess with it and I want it different sizes so curated for you bye Oopsie. Sorry if you can hear my little typing by getting creates. And then like I said, I want this smaller so it can still fit. So we're just gonna shrink it. Now of course you can manipulate the numbers up here in font size, but it's easier just to drag it. <laughs> and then you're like, oh yeah. And maybe you want different pens, right? Maybe you want something written in one color and something else written in another. And I'm just eyeballing this part of it. I'm looking at it left and right to see if that's pretty centered. And same thing with this one. That's not bad. Maybe a little bit more this way. And let's just say you do want different pen colors. So let's go up here. It says pen because it's a writing font at this point. And let's say that you want that in raspberry. Cool. And then let's say this one... I just leave it black but let's say you have a glitter gel pen or something something else that you're going to use a glitter pen and just so you have it for your styling okay so now we have two different colors and do not forget to attach these things this is just an extra decoration because we're kind of doing all that right now so once you highlight everything click attach down here and that way when you move it around it's one piece and then when you go to make it it's one piece because if you go to make it and you didn't attach it um, it'll be like writing by itself, the, this other writing by itself, and then a balloon, and that's not what you want. You want everything all together. Okay, um, so that's how I made that little decoration. How I made my tag is I went to images, and of course images that I own. I did say like scallop tag or things like that, and you know, it brought up all the tags that I own, and obviously I have a ton of them. And I was looking, look, this is very similar to the one I ended up with, but I didn't want it to be so plain. So anyway, um, I just kept going and going <laughs> until I found that little tag that had like, I don't know. I'm going to keep searching because it's going to be a minute because I'm, I'm honestly, I, I just was looking, looking. Oh my gosh, I have so many tags. I mean, how cute is this one? That's not even a tag. It's like a little buckle like you loop it around it's really cute this one so I clicked on that and then I want a balloon shape so I'm gonna look for a balloon again <laughs> and I wanted it to be really squiggly and fun so as I went through I found a balloon that I liked and it might have been one we already passed but let's see was this one no that one's too basic oh I think I think it was this one so let's click on that and I say add to canvas and now we're going to do some manipulation, guys. Okay, so just click somewhere else. Take this guy away. I'm going to turn this so it's easier to look at. 90 degrees. Rotate. And we're going to start some manipulation. So this one, if I double click, I'm going to take this blue part off. Actually, let's leave them together. Let's leave those together. Uh, the first thing I would do is size it. So I'm looking at it. And it is five and a half inches long. Actually, that's pretty good. I think it's kind of big but that's pretty good so if you want to size it go ahead and do that now so you can kind of manipulate that I'm double clicking so that separates the groups but it's still grouped together it's just to separate the layers and on this one I'm gonna to go to down here on contour I take a pause just to make sure I'm recording and basically I want to hide everything um, that has to do with this chicky so I'm gonna say hide all contours and whenever you hide all contours it always keeps the basic contour the one on the outside so that's fine but I want the little circle back right this little circle so I can click on it here or I can click on it here just to say hey I want that circle back 
and that's it so when I go back we just got rid of that chicky which is awesome I'm gonna duplicate this right now because if we want um, acetate layer and you want it to be cut by the machine just duplicate it now so I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna make it white just so it's like clear supposedly so that's our acetate layer if you want to make a shaker now with this little guy he's a cutie maybe I'll stretch him out just a little bit and I also want to rotate him a little bit and I'm just clicking on rotate just to be more stylized and cute okay so we have that let's move this guy out of the way and this guy out of the way. we'll see how they're grouped together because they're still grouped together and that's why <laughs> we are going to ungroup that in just a minute but for now we're going to focus on this guy the best way I thought of doing this is where well, I see right now it's highlighted and down here we don't have the contour option because you have a couple different layers here right we have the balloon and you can just click on the balloon here or you can double click it here so I'll show you another way to click on just the balloon and now just the balloon is highlighted instead of double clicking on that we're going to click contour and I'm going to hide all contours because I don't want any of those little stars and I'm going to come back here okay now I'm going to highlight this and I want to combine these two things. I want it to be one piece. Instead of being a balloon and a string separate so I can burn it into this, I'm going to click down here on Combine. This is the kind of stuff I did all the time on the Gypsy. I'm starting to learn this more and more. So these are the, literally the kinds of things I would do a long time ago. So weld. Now it's one piece because all I'm going to do with this is die cut it into this. I might rotate it a little bit more still. Eh, that's too much, isn't it? Okay. Maybe we'll just leave it. No, that's too little still. Hold on. Eh, something like that. Okay, so this is going to be in my tag. And that's cute. But the next thing we're going to have to do is ungroup this. Because if I put this on here and then say slice, it's just going to be some weird stuff. So let's just ungroup this. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click ungroup right here. And now I can bring this little guy back. Let's see, that's where I want that. And I can highlight both of these things together and then I say slice. And that is going to slice that away. And now I have a tag that has that cute little balloon, very much what I wanted. You can do writing on here. I'll show you that in a minute. We have this piece. You can keep these for something else if you like those, you know, whatever. Right now I'm just going to delete them. I don't need them. Um, I picked out, you know, I came over here to images and I was like, happy birthday. So I just wanted to see what I had that was like. Uh, what's it called? Just like a sentiment. Did you guys know that you can play with that now? Supposedly, I don't know how to do it, but I haven't tried. So, you know, I have all these sentiments I can cut out, like this happy birthday, just to go on there, happy birthday. I chose the it's your day one. You know, this is a writing one. I can choose that and just pop it on there, and it's already a, a written one. I think it's from an Anna Griffin cartridge I have. Um, but I saw this it's your day, and I thought it was cute, so add to canvas. Let's just say we're going to do that still. And just, you know, designing on here, like looking to see, does that fit? How does that look? I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then again, because I want to maybe pop it up a little bit so it looks a little bit thicker, I'm going to duplicate it two or three times just so that when I go to cut, I have a couple layers of that. Okay. So I don't need that one right now. It's just an extra bit. So it's like that. And then I was like, what if we do some writing? So I went to images. Actually, I can probably get it from just shapes. Is there a free star? Oh, there is. Um, eh, okay, let's do that one. Let me see how that might look. Hold on. Instead of basic cut, we're going to say we want it to be drawn with a pen. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. The one I chose was like a double star, and I had to like, just contour away one of the sizes, but that's fine. So we're going to do that. Let's just say that. And then let's duplicate a couple times. So I have another one here to play with, and another one. Uh, let me duplicate one more. And while I'm doing all that, I'm going to move these pieces off because I don't want these other pieces to have anything to do with it. Um, so I brought these in and then I just kind of played with them. So, you know, make it a little bit smaller, maybe do a little rotation so it's not just straight up and down. It looks more fun. Maybe this guy a little bit even tinier and put him, oop, put him wherever we want. Maybe there, something like that. No, smaller. <laughs> And now I'm going to have some little drawings too on here. Sorry, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but, um, and then we'll bring that here. 
Again, just some fun stuff because I think I'm also going to put some little glitter here and there when this is in real life, you know. So now we have that. And we are going to draw that. And I'm going to highlight and make sure you attach that. That way that is with the whole thing. So um, that is it, guys. So now we have this cute tag that has different layers. And I totally manipulated and changed that however I felt like doing. And I mean, that's really fun. As far as that changing the, the sentiment, I don't know how you can do that here. I honestly don't have any idea. It might be certain sentiments. I know it's a new thing that Cricket's letting you do, like change the wording. But honestly, I don't know where that would be. So that's fine. I guess it might be under phrases. Oh, editable images. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, well, I don't care about that. So let's just go back <laughs> to the thing. Um, and I'm going to say that is it. So when you go to click make it, I have on for any material, confirm. If I'm going to do acetate, I would have that there. Um, now let's think about it. You have a hole, right? So if I was to shaker this, I would put my foam adhesive all around here under the under the circle or you can get rid of that circle but then it doesn't make sense because then you would get rid of it everywhere um, and it wouldn't be a tag anymore now would it um, and then this guy is going to do that with the words and you know my little tag with the little words it's going to or the stars it's going to draw the background tag and then um, it's your day in a pink did I do that that's weird I don't remember doing that that's cute though <laughs> anyway I'm just going to cancel that because I'm not going to cut right now um, there was one more thing I was thinking about talking about. What was it? Yes, Let me I think for a second. I want to show you how to make maybe a topper. Um, it can be any shape or like words. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's make our own with words. And I don't want it to be operation writing. I just want um, regular. Um, oh, that's pretty. Um, cut type of thing let's see basic what is this oh this birthday bash that is cute it's the same font I did up here but this is so cute here <gasps> I didn't know I had a background in the top oh this is so cool this might not be the best one to use for this but what a cool te uh, font right <laughs> it might work actually okay let's say um oh my gosh hooray would be really tight but let's say hooray and it's all weird for some reason <laughs> the way the a and the y uh, that's not my favorite look. So what we can do is possibly fix that. Why I don't like the way it's so low. So let me see if are we still okay. Everyone's together, huh? I'm usually able to kind of just open this up, but let's just okay. There we go. Ungroup. Oh, you know why? Hmm. I think it's because that double layer. But let's see if we can manipulate at least one of these things. No, come on, buddy. And then position. Can I move it now? That is so weird. Let's see. Okay, now I can move it, but I don't really want to move it one piece at a time, but that's okay. Let's grab the black one. I need to grab that black background piece. No, no, no. Actually, I'm so silly. I already know how to do that. Just over here, if I want to attach. Um, Where is the rest of it? Where is the rest of it? Hello? Huh, that's weird. Okay. Um, isn't that weird? The background doesn't want it. I just was saying, this one is probably not the best font for this. Oh, that's why. Uh, okay, let me just choose another font. I don't feel like messing with this, but this is like attached together, which I'm sure we can do something with. But I'm not going to do that right now. So let's just not use this font. <laughs> I'm going to back up and get rid of this. Actually, I can just highlight everything and delete it all right let's do text <laughs> and let's find a new font let's not do birthday bash but it is pretty cool okay so i unkerned and the ones i own i don't even click on free because sometimes it says free but then you still have to do something else weird um birthday bash is there again with that background i could have gotten rid of the background font to be honest uh Let's do this boring one here. Hopefully it doesn't have more than one layer. Where did it go? Hello, my friend. Where are you? Is that weird? <laughs> okay, let's do that again. What the heck just happened? 
Okay, let's click text again. And there it is, but that was weird. Yeah, it's really boring. Sorry, I should have chosen something cuter, but okay, let's do hooray. Uh, again, that why. Why does it have to be like that? I don't like the way that looks. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, you guys, ungroup. Hopefully this actually responds now, okay. And I should be able, what's so weird is that you should be able to just, there we go. No, when it has these weird little things, that's when you can manipulate it. And I'll just come up here and just click, click, click until I'm happy with where it is. What is going on? I say, oh yeah, I want the number smaller, duh. Uh, meaning move it up, right? Uh, if it's not one thing, better. it's another. Anyway, I got something in my throat there. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to. Apparently I'm not. Okay, I'm going to highlight these guys and group them again. I want them to be all one and as far as kerning I don't know if I can still mess with it here kerning has to do with the spacing between the lettering and um, you can usually play with that and for right now I'm just gonna leave it alone so we have hooray and it's four inches wide is it, I'm just trying to make a little topper that's shaped it doesn't matter what we're gonna do is then click on offset we're gonna make an offset that's a pretty good size offset so let's just go a little bit smaller Let's just say apply. Okay, so now I have my letters. Actually, I don't want that. I just want the offset. And with this guy, this might not be the best one to try this with because of the way they um, would fold. Oh, but you know what? We can do that. Okay, and then let's offset that one. That might look better. And of course, this just has to do with how it works for you, right? Um, this might not be something you want to try, but okay, so we have that. We have the background. Now we have this piece. And this piece, what we want to do is duplicate it. Like I said, this might not be the best shape, but that's okay. You get the gist. And when we duplicate it here, I'm going to flip this. And I want to flip it vertically so it's up like this. And then what we can do is bring these guys together. And that's not the best. That's why I'm saying this might be a little bit tough because we have to really connect all that shape. Um, bring it down a little bit more. I'm getting rid of that little circle. And we can now weld that. Now highlight just those two pieces and combine them and weld it. So now we can also get, um, what's the thing called? A, um, bring this to the front highlight, bring to front, um, a score line in there. So let's say that's there and then our wording, oh, bring it to front so we can see it. I'm just right clicking on that when I bring to front. So now we have hooray, which is shaped, but kind of, but not really right. Because we're going to put a score line here and it's possible that, um, um, the H is going to be hanging off the top a little bit. So let's go into shapes. So I'm just showing you how I would do this. I'm going to grab a score line. And how wide is this thing? 4.65. It doesn't really matter. Let's get our score line and let's make it taller. Whatever it was, about four something, right? And then I'm going to rotate it, obviously. <laughs> we want it. And let me change the color of this so you can see it. A little bit differently let's say peachy I don't know so let's bring our score line over here and if you really want to you can really take measurements and make sure this is perfectly straight I'm just looking at my grid lines and being happy with that so right there to right there and I'm gonna highlight those together and I'm going to attach them so now my score line is attached to that and again <laughs> let's bring all these things to front bring to front and so when we pop this on now we have a shaped thing that um, you can use as a bag topper right and you can do this with shapes or whatever you want so obviously I had to kind of play with this in a weird way because of the capital H and the sizing of this and that but it's just something so when we get this it'll score in the middle and you can stick that on top of your bag or whatever cute thing you want to decorate so with like a topper 
I'll do another video on this that's more uh, streamlined. But anyway, um, if you have a shape like a cake, obviously at the very top, the little, let's say it has candles, that's where it would be attached. It'll look really cute. Or a balloon, you know, at the very top, the little balloon shape can fold over. But anyway, all right, uh, I'm going to get to cutting. just um, mount these guys on a piece of paper and so I don't want it to be much longer than seven inches so this is some nice heavyweight paper but I'm going to matte layer it too so I'm just going to cut down the paper to like maybe six and three quarter inches tall and hopefully I can get these guys on there and by maybe I don't know an inch and a half or something and then I'll matte layer it with another paper but I'll be right back a nice cute way I can hang it from one side to the other but to be honest um, I don't really have the time to figure that out right now so if that's something you want to do I'm sure you can figure it out I would probably extend it or hang them on like some um, twine and maybe I'll do that later but for right now we really need to get glue all over this because we're gonna punch holes and we don't want that to come apart so again this is like six and three quarters by an inch and a half is what I did um, did I do an inch and a half hold on let me make sure uh, yeah, by an inch and a half. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna poke some holes so that I can mount these guys on here. So, um, I'll yeah, I totally eyeballed that, but look at that. They just fit on there. I think that's gonna be really cute. Again, I'm gonna put them on with some jump rings. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna have to change up my idea, but either way, um, let's say right here on top. So we need a place to jump ring to come in and to come back out of. So I'm gonna just kind of punch that and then do another one and hopefully that's enough right and if I do them a little bit one over here one over there I'm just eyeballing this you guys and maybe I should use this as a template later but um, just think about if that's hanging down then this one here maybe a hole there and a hole here and then for the last one to hang I'll put it back on this side let's see how long that is we don't want to hang it off too much so let's say here to here Okay. Let me see which one of these I want to use. Maybe the larger, I'm not sure. Are these rose gold? I meant to grab gold ones. But let's see. We're just plugging right along, guys. So, I'm trying to think if I need to put it in here. Oh, that works out. Let's see how well it holds these little guys. Oh my gosh. Generally, we twist it back. That's just a jump ring. And actually, the jump ring will help the person use this later, too. So, that's cool. Oh, that was fast. Whatever my machine's doing over there. Look how cute. I was just hang them all like that. So I'll be back. Switch this around to work from the back because um, it kind of was wanting to gouge my paper. So I just want that to hold on. But, you know, don't want to mess with my paper too much. So it looks neater if we do it from the back. So what I mean is we're in that the video might look different every time like this just came out of a tag die so I love that it's super cute what I'm gonna do is move this up though for the next one so I'll use this as a template letting me know I need to make holes up here because I would like them to be even you know but um, I mean fit right in there just tuck them in there and again you can put this in a plastic holder of course to protect them even more but look at that oh my gosh super happy with that okay um, I'm gonna keep working while that is still working have another thing I can kind of start working on but see I have my two pieces and look at how cute with the little stars and again we designed that and you know I could include this die cut if I want to I'm not going to but uh, just a little guy I'd rather just not pop it in there but um, that's gonna be a layered up tag really nice size and then I'm cutting the it's your day right now and then we'll add some like something else on top so that'll be cute but with these guys Oh, my bag toppers, guys. I was trying to show you guys those. So I'm just cutting out the word, the letters yay. This was much easier to do than the other one. And honestly, I actually forgot to put the scoring tool in. So I didn't quite get that. But they, you know, the way I designed it, it's very easy to do. We'll pop in our letters for yay. And that's going to be my little topper for this guy just to make it look cute. Oh, my gosh. 
how fun is that? And so we'll do that, or I'll do that. On um, these guys, I'm just gonna stick these to the back of my swabs. So I was just kind of checking this guy out. Sorry, I know you guys are curious, so I'm trying to get this stuff just done to, you know, get it out. So I'm just gonna glue that on there. But I thought it'd be fun to finish it off with some little something. Hmm. Let's use this purplish color. Why not? I guess I can mix it up as I go along. Um. Scissors. Give myself a good amount just so I'm not. And then I'm just gonna tie it on here. You can make a little bow. I think it'll be a little bit more difficult. So I'm just gonna give it a quick tie. I think that'll be cute. And then I'm gonna glue down the little excess and everything. A bow would be really fun too, of course. What I'm gonna do is just put some glue and glue that down. You know, and then just let this kind of curly cue around and try to glue that down too if I can do it. Obviously I'm gonna cut some of this off, it's a little bit much. But just so it stays in one place, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so I just put glue down like literally with this and I just kind of did a curly cue and then I just laid this over it to stay down. All right, so I got some of my letters and basically, I know it's getting smaller and smaller, everything that's happening here, but of course mine are gonna be different from yours, so I don't wanna spend too much time. I'm just kinda of giving you an idea of what it is that we're kind of looking for. Um, again, you could shaker this. I wanna keep it flat so I can have different things placed in there nicely. So this guy, I'm gonna go right to the edge there and place that on there. Okay. And then I have these It's Your Day, and I did them in that sprinkle paper. Ooh, it's really stuck on there. <laughs> and I did them so I can matte layer them. Now these are both sprinkly. I probably should have done one sprinkle and one like thicker paper, you know, but that's okay. We're gonna have that. And then another one, I'm gonna glue those two together. And then I'll be right back. And before I fire up my hot glue gun, I'm going to maybe do some, a little bow out of, um, what's this stuff called? Um, felt. So I'm just going to layer those two together. So they're not as thick as you normally would get because this paper is thinner. And then I'm just going to glue it down right there, okay? So I'll be right back. Oh, and in the meantime, I'll also take my little yays. <laughs> ah! And they will be glued onto this topper like that. And again, I just designed this on the Cricut, and I'm sorry the example I gave you guys was not great, but see, that just, you know, just happens. So I'll glue those down, okay? Yes. I'll be back. You know, I can pop some fun trims in here, but you know, I have this sitting in front of me, and they're all so cute, like such cute colors. So I think what I'm gonna do is top that off with these guys. That'll be really fun. So that one, that one, and maybe the light blue. I don't know. I haven't really put a lot of like yellow in my swap, you know, as far as the colorway. Let's cut those off, they're all kind of messy. And, oh, we're gonna get messy again. Cut it there. And I'm just gonna fold them over so that they're really doubled up. And I always forget if I like to go from the back to the front or front to the back, so let me see what this looks like. So you could always just take them out if it's not. That's so cute, otherwise it looks like this. So if you go from the, like I did, the back, the loop stays here, or the other way the loop is somewhere else. Super cute, and then again, we need at least a third thing or something like that. So I was thinking about sequins. Hmm, should I use the same sequins I was using before? Blue and pink and like a coral color. I feel like for this specific tag, the pink is kind of clashing. So what I can do is put down some of this blue and that might be it. <laughs> we'll see. Just kind of want to put some things here. See what that looks like. Maybe I'll go get an, like just an opalescent color. I think that's cute. That might be good just with the blues. I just wanted something else to look like it's kind of sprinkling in there too, you know? Something simple. I think I will grab a different color though. Okay, I'll be back. So I will take a moment to just pop uh, some of these in here too. Is that four? Kind of a weird number, huh? Mm, maybe there. These little opalescent shines. Let's see if I can grab them from the lid. 
Not quite. Well, yeah, a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to pop some of these on here. Ah, as well as I can. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Okay, <laughs> let's just get one at a time, buddies. I was going to say buddies, and I don't know what I end up saying. Okay. All right, I'm just going to pop some of these here and there, and I'll some be back. things I'm using, I'm putting them in a basket so I don't misplace anything. So that way I can finish all my projects exactly the same way without like, oh, I don't know where I put this or that. So we have this guy, and I just want to pop him on here. Now I'm going to pop him on in a way that is easy to open without completely destroying it. So I'm just going to use some double-sided tape. It's not like the strongest tape ever, but some people like to like glue it down and then maybe put a little Velcro on the back so you open it up and then you can still open the thing. I'm just going to go ahead and stick it down, but uh, I was going to say, where's my double-sided tape? It's always hiding from me nowadays. <laughs> so just, just a little strip, you know, enough to hold it down. Front and the back, and then maybe right up here just to hold it closed at the very top. You guys. Now, I kind of have to get mine done so I can show you guys the examples, but you have plenty of time to think about it and curate your boxes and all that kind of good stuff. I'm still going to make like a dangle and all that, a beaded dangle. Um, but for now, a topper is not considered an extra thing. That's just if you want to do this, you know, go for it. I know a lot of people like to put little toppers. Oh, you know what? I meant. <laughs> so silly. I meant to put it up a little bit higher, but that's okay. Um, yeah, look at how cute. <laughs> so that guy's tucked in there. You know, we can put something cute on here. I actually have some items that I want to use still. So I have my tag. Again, wherever it fits, you know, as you're building up, it's like maybe it's better for it to go here or there or maybe back here. You need to be careful because my sequins are still a little bit wet. Tag is in there. You know, super cute wet sequins don't want to mess with that okay uh let me go grab a few other things some felt for die cutting like a bow or so and then i totally forgot and i was looking for my bow dies i had gotten this little um balloon animal oh my gosh and he's a good size actually this makes a shaker but i'm not gonna do that so i was thinking maybe he's a big boy i mean maybe i can pop him like in here we'll see he's a big big guy oh a balloon animal with the thing anyway bummer i totally forgot i had him okay um couple more things. I'll be right back. Hey guys, sorry this is so, like, hectic on my workspace here. Um, okay. So, I have this cute bow set. Uh, I think I picked this up on Amazon. It's KS Crafts. And it has all these little bunny things, but really I just want the bow, the main bow. So, whenever things are stuck together, just give it a ch, -ch, -ch until it comes apart. So, I want this part and this part. And then I'll remember to have these for next... Easter. So we want this part and this little guy. And whenever you take apart things like that, there's a lot of companies that, you know, sell their uh, dyes still stuck together like this. I like to just trim away whatever is left of those little burrs and just kind of make sure you're not flinging anywhere where it's going to get in your eye or anything like that because, well, they go everywhere. Or even if you don't want to, you can hold on to it. It's kind of notched anyway. It's just that you got to get in there, you know? So let me grab some felt, and I'm going to use some soft felt because I really want this to be really cute. I'm going to run through the marquee, and that means I'm going to use a metal shim because it cuts the best. And I'll be right back. I'll show you. Um, of course, if you have a machine that has really good pressure, you'll probably be able to cut it without, you know, uh, much more than what the machine does. If you're putting this, like, in the Gemini or even, I don't know, the Empress doesn't have a metal shim, does it? I don't remember anymore. I haven't used it in so long. But any machine that has a metal shim, you can just face this towards the metal. Um, so you're actually cutting into it and then just run it through. I have my hot glue gun heating up over here. It's only been a couple seconds, but um, I do have these doilies too. And if they fit, I would like to put one over something and then use one of my clippies, you know, hold down again. That is your one extra thing. So if you want to do one, several, whatever makes your loaded pocket look amazing, that's what I would encourage you to do. So we have our pieces here. Uh, for one of my bows and this does have little stitch marks. It's not going to show up on <laughs> your felt so well This felt I actually got in the kids section at Joanne's, so that's where this came from I really like stiff felt, but now that I've been making more bows. I feel like the soft felt looks better So I just use the soft felt now for those For the most part, I would like to get them all finished right now But I think this is <laughs> we have to make the video and then be done for today because I have other things I need to get to um, I usually like using like pretty paper clips like these guys. I don't know if that one's gonna fit on there, you know, so I'm gonna go ahead uh, And use a larger paper clip just like the same one from earlier 
I do want to show you something about these little puffs. They're weird. <laughs> they're um, they're made from like um, tinsel. So you know tinsel has a thing running down the middle. And if you unroll it, you can actually unravel it and it looks like a string of tinsel. So I'm like, that's odd. So the best way I think to get it on here is I pushed half of it through and then I'm going to glue it like this. Because otherwise it's just weird. It doesn't really make a puff even though they're sold as, sold as puffs. And they really aren't. I'm going to go wash my hands and put some lotion on and I'll be right back. I'm really scared of this one because it is plastic and I'm going to try to hot glue it. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Okay. I probably should have used this when the hot glue was just a little bit cold still. So I'm just going to kind of put some on there and then just give this a squeeze like this. Hmm, not too hot, not too bad. I think it looks cute flat to be honest. <laughs> but I think that's just the best way to keep that on there. I might even put a little smattering underneath here. Why not? Hey, that worked pretty well. Okay, good. That's not really holding it. It's just putting something on there to hold this more down like this. That's actually really cute. <laughs> yeah, that's just a weird little thing. I'm like, this is not like a puffball. But see, now that I have it stuck down, it actually looks much cuter. All right, this guy. So I've shown you guys before, obviously, actually, you know what? The little stitch lines are kind of there. Oh, my nails are so bad right now. Uh, we're gonna put these guys in the center. It looks like they meet right up, right in the center. And then the other thing you can think about is, do you wanna go ahead and put sandwich your paper clip in between these things like this and that and then pop the thing over the center you know or just glue this together and then just use that to stick this on or sorry <laughs> be back here uh, a tough one because it's so small you know uh, I think I'll just stick it down So I'm going to put this here. It is a little bit trickier if you put down the, um, if you put the paper clip in between them. And, okay, here my son. I'll be right back. I think I took a pause because I think I'm going to use one of these cuter stylized gold clippies. Just because it's smaller, it's daintier. Um, it looks a little nicer. And I might even just stick one down a little bit before I go for it, because usually what I do is I stick it all together at the same time. But I'll just stick that on there just to have it kind of settled. And then now I can kind of... This is so tiny, this little piece in the center. Start it there. So again, if you bury it in between the two layers, you wouldn't see much of that, right? But that is the back, it's not the biggest deal. Okay, we're gonna bring it around nice and tight. So this is felt so I can manipulate a little bit better because we really want that nice and tight. And putting my hot glue. Pushing that down. Get that little extra bit, I'll clean it up in a second. I'm gonna wait for this to set up and then that little bit of glue that's right there, I'll just pick it off. <laughs> And that is an altar paper clip. So again, that could be your one extra uh, decorative item. I said an altar paper clip, maybe a rosette on a pick, a bow. Um, these are both altar paper clips, or bows or however. Not both bows, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, yeah, so let's see. Should I bring pink in again? <laughs> Lots of pink hair. Um, some doilies I got at my local like party store. Oh my gosh, there's like a ton right there. I thought that was like one or two. Um, I have my card back here. Again, you can put a little stickiness to hold it up so you're seeing it more. Maybe on these little guys, just something like this. Again, this is one of my gift items. And things might change, you know, in the final reveal. You might see something different. Um, <laughs> how cute is that? Oh my gosh. I'll carefully pop that back in there. You guys. I'm super in love with this. So cute. And basically, I'm done. I mean, honestly, I'd be done, right? I want to do a dangle, so I'll come back for a dangle. But we can also just put, like, a clippy wherever you would like. You can put it down here. You know, put it on the next thing. So as you're going through, there's more and more things that you see. But again, everything, in a way, 
that is nice and neat. Nothing's getting hurt. It all fits in here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how cute. And then we seal it up. And like I said, I'm gonna put something else on the front, but I just kinda wanna show you guys what we're looking for, right? We've gone over the rules many, many times. If you have any questions, please ask. Put a little something on the back. Let me grab the sleeve that I normally send these off in so you can see what I'm expecting as far as packaging it. And then uh, that's it. These are the sleeves I pick up on Amazon. I really like them. They've been a great size for like all these different swaps. And if you can't find these, um, you know, I'll link them, but if you have uh, something else, I just really don't want it to be puffy on the top, and that means like those kind of gift bags where you stick it up on the top and then there's like the puffiness, because what happens is when I put it in the bag, I'm going to crush it down, it might crush the things that are inside of your swap, and we just don't want that, right? So, um, you know, just package it nicely, carefully. This guy's going to go in here, and then I just kind of swoosh this around. And as you see, there's nothing else on the outside, you guys. I mean, if you're going to put like the tiniest label, I'm talking about like a sticker, okay, something flat, that's fine. Please don't decorate it too much because you're really putting your decorations here. Like I said, I'll probably put, hopefully, I can get this little balloon animal. That'd be really cute, but we'll see. Uh, it may just not work. Even though I want to use it, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we just leave those things behind, those ideas. So obviously this is a little bit thicker than the one and a quarter, I would say, in the very middle here. It's probably like one, actually it's pretty, yeah, like one and a half. So. That's pretty good. Of course, this would be sealed up. It might be hard for me to get it in here now because I haven't really taped it down. But this is the flat rate mailer. It will go back in if you're sending two. I'll put it in a box if you're sending four. You're going to include the postage that's correct for either if you send in two or if you send in four. And you guys know from the last time. And it, that went off without a hitch. That was so easy. You guys did such a great job last time. So um, that's wonderful. But if you're sending in four and you have a box, you still need to make sure that they fit in this kind of flat rate padded envelope which I've given you the sizes. I know you don't have to send it in this. Uh, this is how I'm going to send it back. Cause so a lot of people, I would say I know a lot of people. And I said, not a lot of people. <laughs> I know a lot of people will freak out. They're like, I can't find those flat rate pad envelopes. You don't have to, you can send it however you want. Make sure there's like a board in there. If you're sending it in a padded envelope and that same board that keeps this nice and, you know, without getting crushed too badly in the postal, uh, workings. Um, I'll use that same board on the swap back out. So whatever you did to keep this safe, I'll try and match, right, as much as I can. So as you can see, this fits in here. That's why I give you guys the sizing of five by seven with about an inch, inch and a quarter, you know, well, inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half by the time it's full because it fits in here nicely and it looks so nice and it feels so nice when you're popping it in there and everything's great. And two of them fit in here perfectly. And usually I have two ready to go. I guess I can show you the other one, but this is one and this is another. And this is the thing, as you're sending your swap in, this is yours for the person that you're sending it back to. And this space belongs to somebody else for their swap that they're sending to that person. So don't invade the size. That's why I'm like, I'm really adamant you guys keep it to the pocket that I'm telling you, right? You have to design it the way I did it. And then only so thick and only so much, you know, can go on. So I'm just saying, do not decorate the outside bag. Please do not decorate the outside bag. I'm begging you. Just put it in a sleeve. Um, I mean, if you only have a Ziploc, that's fine. Um, just something that's not too big and that's not too bulky that's making more problem because it's like so big, you know? Uh, and then the other one will fit right in here and it goes to your swap partners and they're happy because they're nice and neat and they arrived in good condition instead of being all squished and squishing somebody else's, you know? So hopefully that makes sense, guys. This was a lot of fun. I'll probably change some things because to be honest, I feel like I had to kind of like get this going for this and I have so many more ideas, but so far everything worked out really well. I think it's really cute. Um, have fun guys. Birthday celebration is the theme and that's what I expect to see in the theme. Again, not just flowers, not, you know, just die cuts that are like happy birthday because everything else is, you know, birds or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, have fun guys. And I'm just letting you know, because I, y'all broke me on that last swap. I was like, Oh no. So, uh, yeah. So there it is guys. Have fun. Please email me if you have any questions and read over your guidelines, watch all the videos front to back, back to front, whatever. <laughs> I know some people are like, I've already watched them several times, you know, whatever it is. Obviously it's your interpretation of, you know, what you're putting in here, your gifts and your things, but um, just have fun with it. And I'll see you guys the next one. Bye now.